things. Number number one, it's a great opportunity to uh, get the culture experience. Uh, we're gonna have an opportunity to give back at an orphanage, put on a clinic, um, have a chance to really connect uh, with Costa Rica. Excited to have a new experience with my teammates. It's something different than what we normally do. You know, we usually just we go play a game and then we're worn out. We go home, but. We get, a, we get to go to an orphanage and play with kids, and we get to go hang out together. We're going rafting. I'm super excited for that. So it's just a fun trip. Before, where have you surfed before? Southern California. Southern, so you're an old pro. No, not really. I took lessons for like three days. Did you tell Todd that before he felt really bad about you getting up on the board and it took him more tries than you? No, uh, yeah, I told him. You did, you did tell him? Yeah, I did. How are the waves out there? Awesome. Quite, quite an experience. Started out in Bozeman Airport, got there about mm, 1 2 o'clock yesterday. Um, stayed there, you know, it was a normal amount of time in the airport, traveled to Denver. We had Den we were in Denver for approximately, I think, about 10 hours. Flight got delayed because weather in Denver was bad. It's snowing in May. Um, finally got on the airplane at about 2 o'clock in the morning, this morning. Got to Costa Rica at about 7 go through customs and we're, we all get our bags and we're ready to go and we realize that Tish is not with us. Go searching for Tish and they do not take her passport. Tish goes back to Denver. We're all worried about Tish and we're sad for Tish because she didn't get to come, but it's okay. It all got worked out. Kelsey's parents saved the day and they got Tish passport and she gets to come here tomorrow. Uh, we went to the beach. Uh, most people didn't get sunburned. Um, no, probably about half didn't get sunburned. Um, Hung out there, had a great lunch, tried some new food, um, came back, showered, long way to shower, um, had a practice, and uh, it's very humid, we're very sweaty, we <laughs> shot around a bunch. Um,
discapacidad. Disability. Disability. Muy mal. Muy mal. Acá son tres compañeras. Venga, ahorita, venga. Death Center Work Tree. Her name is Karen. Karen. Daniela. Daniela. Marita. Y Marita. The three people working with them. Los chiquillos de acá están de lunes a viernes, de 8 a 4 de la tarde. Ellos estudian. Porque se les da habilidades adaptativas, como un aprendizaje para la vida. ¿Qué es lo que está haciendo? Pero se busca la independencia. Se busca que tienen independencia. The 47 people estudian aquí 7 días, lunes, mondays, through fridays. And they are learning things about the, the why live better. How to live better. Yeah. Hey! 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 So Rachel, how did that feel? What was the experience like? Uh, <laughs> que permiten contemplar de día y de noche el valle central del país. Innumerables paisajes que observar mientras nos tomamos una cita de café, agua dulce o chocolate calentito.
quite made it home yet, um, yeah. st still working on it. How would you sum up the whole week and uh, what it meant for the team? Well, Costa Rica was an absolutely amazing experience for us all. Um, we got to see another amazing part of the world, um, pretty much a once in a lifetime opportunity for us all. Uh, it was a great team bonding experience for sure. We learned a lot about each other through the whole thing. Uh, we had some great basketball, um, really excited for next year. Um, just with what we saw. What were some of the important things that came out of those three games? Um, learning about our consistency. Um, the competition wasn't really very hard for us. It wasn't really challenging. So just making sure we focus on us, make sure we focus on discipline and details, and um, focus on consistency. With the conclusion of the trip comes a new chapter for the women's athletic or the women's basketball program. Sarah and uh, Lindy moving on, and now you being the only senior, uh, how do you feel stepping into that role? I feel pretty good. I feel that you know we only had three upperclassmen last year, and I was part of that group, so I'm pretty comfortable. I was a captain last year. Um, definitely a vocal leader on the team. That's not really going to change. So. Um, definitely feeling comfortable with that, just trying to get everybody to keep moving forward in the summer while we're not together and um, definitely going to do my part in helping everybody uh, move forward in the right steps.